It has been absolutely wild around here. We've been so busy. We just wrapped up the Left Coast Flea and I am so happy to say that it was a smashing success. I'm working on editing that video for you. I can't wait to share with you all of the fun and amazing vintage that we had this weekend. But today's really exciting because I am going thrifting with my niece, Maya, and my friend, Kelly, who I met at the Fargo Junk Market last year. If you have not seen those episodes where Maya and I fly into Minneapolis, we do some thrifting around there, and then we head to Fargo for the junk market, you've got to go back and watch those episodes. I will link them in the description below. Kelly and I quickly became good friends. She is absolutely amazing. She's here for a few more days, so today we're gonna go to lunch, we're gonna go thrifting, and I'm gonna take her to a few of my favorite local spots. He's here. Hi. <laughs> We're excited to hang out with Kelly. It's been, yes. hasn't it been a year? Almost, yeah. Wow. Nine months at least. Wow, that's September. crazy. Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> Kelly just happens to have a lifelong friend who lives in my city, and she has a pottery studio where she teaches how to work with pottery. I've been hoping to get into one of her classes, and today we're going to get to take a look at her studio and kind of check out what she does. You're doing, you're filming a YouTube video I'm right now? Video right now. I'm filming a YouTube video right now. Look at oh, this. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're both filming. <laughs> Everybody, this is Kelly. You met her in Fargo and her very good friend, Jen. Yes. And this is her amazing place. Tell me about your beautiful clothing, please. Okay, I do ceramics, right? uh -huh. you know that. I do ceramics, but I also do upcycled clothing. And I go antiquing and I have some of my clothes and people give me their stuff. But here, this was an anthropology score, and I didn't like just the dress. It was kind of boring. And so then I, this is all of this is all what I have put on, right? Anything that's the extra old lace, I put on. This is an old, I love, again, I love, look at how crusty. Oh, and it's so right? perfect. It's crusty, like, crusty, yeah. Wabi-sabi, perfectly wabi -sabi, imperfect. Wabi -perfect. I, I love it. Oh, and the thickness yeah. of this. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. Oh my so goodness. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at this. Yeah. So I love the skirt. So I didn't make the skirt, but then I got on eBay and then I go crazy and I find needle points. Uh -huh. I love the needle points, but I, I ripped it and I shredded it because I want that. You want it I to like look old. I like that shabby yeah. old vintage, right? This one, it's from scratch. Wow. And this is like massive peasant. Uh -huh. one massive peasant, right? Or Les Mis. This one, my grandmother, I was cleaning out her garage, and oh this is like goodness. 120 years old. And wow. this was like a bed, like a crib sheet. This piece is not gonna, this, I just have, there's no prints on this one. Cause like, like this. You can't let it go. My great grandma's. Yeah, like, that's very special. Yeah. You can't right. let that one yeah. go. Kelly didn't know Wait, what this is on. named. This piece of clothing has a name. Yeah. That, right. oh my gosh. No, hold on, I gotta get back. We need wide angle lens for so Craig and the McCracken. Right? Right? No, I love yeah. him. Right? Are you kidding me? Yeah, here's the Kraken. <laughs> you know. Please tell me you wear it. Oh, I do. Oh, yeah. And what do people say? They laugh and they uh, love it and they stop. I get stopped a lot. And then they're kind of like, yeah, they're like whoa. Like, I love it. Where did you get him from and what was he from? Yeah, I need to know. A towel. A towel. <laughs> he was a towel. Feet. And then this is a fun piece. This is called my um, Baroque Babe Pirate. Pirate Broke babe, Broke babe pirate. Yeah. So this piece, but you can see this. This was added on. This is added on. These were added on. This was added. This is Banatos. This is kind of a dark theme. This one is the Les Mis, which I think is very much from Les Mis. Oh, I wow. I almost break out in song when I put it on. Um, I wouldn't yeah. be happy if you did. Yeah. And then I'll end off with this one because these are too cute. This is the finale. This is called, you know, Puppet Show. We have the needlepoint. And look at how cute that is, a little it's puppet show. Sweet. And then I went to Den Haag, which is over in Amsterdam. I'm an art history minor. And this is you know, Vermeer's Girl with a Pearl Earring. And this was an extra large and it still didn't fit me. And I was so sad. And so it was a t-shirt. 
And so I decided to take that t-shirt, cut it out, and then this was just a, a snuggly, comfy sweater. And then I just embellished it. But you can see, look at how fun, like, I'm like, okay, I have all these shirt earrings. But the pearl earring. And so I was like obsessing, like, is that too much? But I'm like, no, I'm gonna go for it. More is more. More is more. That's amazing. Stuff. My studio is upstairs, so we can go upstairs. Let's go see the studio. Okay, let's go. This is my studio. Look at you. This is amazing. Can I commission a piece? Do you do commission pieces? You do? In fact, in fact, I just finished these. So this gal in Ohio, and she's like a plus size. So like, these are size 20, and you can't find stuff like this. So oh. she sent me her jeans and I and said what she kind of wanted. And I'm like, okay. Oh. And so if you look, like I, you know, we'll put, they're all sewn on and then I'll like go ahead and then embellish it. And like, mm -hmm. look at that little guy. Oh you know, my goodness. Right? And she got all of these at the yeah. Rose City Vintage Market Left yeah. Coast Flea this oh, weekend. I loved it. Look Which at we these. Just tag you on we just tagged you Oh, you did? Thank, yeah. you. Thank you. Aren't like, these great? They're beautiful. They're beautiful. Yeah. And feel, and like, yes. Oh, I can't wait to see what you make out of them. So these are going to be fun. This was a shirt that I didn't like, but it was stretchy. And so I pieced it together and people will stop me. And they like, love it. Hey. Oh, so, yeah. I love it. This is a fantastic What a brilliant piece. way to repurpose yeah. it. We were on our way to Goodwill and then we decided real quick to stop at Habitat and it turns out that Maya's boyfriend and his friend are here right now getting a couch for their new apartment. What are the odds? We were just here the other day, remember everybody? <laughs> Ooh, they've got new stuff in here. Oh, is that it? Oh, Maya, that's cute. It's a black leather couch. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, we're gonna sit in it. Oh, that's comfy. That's comfy. This is kind of cute. This is mid-century. Five dollars. We're gonna get that. No cracks, no chips. We're good. Sweet. Do we like this tile table? I think we do. It's only forty dollars. I think we like it. Tile tables are all the rage. I saw a lot of them at the flea market this weekend. Ooh, I wonder if there's two. If there's a set. <gasps> there is a set. Okay, we're for sure getting it now. Oh, that's exciting. Those are gonna sell. Those are fantastic. It's always so funny to see what's popular. It's a pretty nice piece of studio pottery. It's only 10. It does have something stuck inside, so I don't know if that'll come out. That's pretty. <laughs> the unveiling of the vintage. A lot of it looks like the same. That's kind of a cool bench if you recovered yeah, it. Yeah. It's long. Hi. What's Holy up? cow, I haven't seen you since Texas. Yeah. <laughs> Look how cute Maya's cowboy or cowgirl boots are. She's gonna wear those to Taylor Swift. I'm talking about your boots. They're so cute. We're going to Taylor Swift next weekend. We can't wait. We're gonna go look at the lighting because I forgot to look at lighting last time I was here. And you never know what they're gonna have. That could be kind of pretty. It's not old, but it's pretty. Those are so pretty. A set of three, two dollars each, four. Gorgeous, good finds. Look how stocked the shelves are today. This is gonna be good. This is new, but I really like the shape on it. $6.99 at Ross, $2.99, $6.99, $12.99. I didn't get this last week because it has a chipped ear, but several of you commented that you couldn't believe I left it behind. So it's only $2.99 as is because of the chipped ear. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it. And we're gonna just let it be wabi-sabi. This is a good one. It's got a little bit of rust on it, but that can be cleaned up. It is $6.99. These are typically worth like 40 to 60. Made in England, H and K. What's that say? Fun stall. I'm not familiar with this, but it's really pretty. We're for sure gonna get it. It's only two dollars and ninety-nine cents too. Love the colors. 
I think that this is Polish glass. It's beautiful and large. It is $6.99. I'm pretty sure I've seen this one before. We're gonna get that and I'll do a little bit more research on it. I feel like either way the $6.99 with no chips and cracks is gonna be worth it. Ooh, I also just spotted this. This is gorgeous. It's a little olio aceto. So this is Italian. Amazing. It's for your balsamic vinegar and your olive oil. And it's double-sided. That's great. $3.99 signed Italy on the bottom. Fantastic. Wow, there's some good stuff here today. This is also a little sweet hand-painted candle holder for only $2.99. I think that's a good deal. Almost didn't come back down this aisle, but look what she just put out. Are you kidding me? Uh, $4.99 each. These are gorgeous, and there's a pair of them. Man, we are doing good. We are doing good. Okay, this is not old, but I think it's really cool, and it has a very mid-century vibe to it. You could put three pillar candles there with the little fishies. Very cute. That also just got put out. What else just got put out while we were gone around the corner? There's a purse. Hmm, interesting. This wasn't here either. $9.99. It's kind of cool. I'm going to get this ring right here. It's $55, but the space is 20% off. So pretty. Thank you. Oh, this is pretty. Okay. Yes, I'll definitely get this one too. Thank you. We might have found something for her to make a custom commissioned piece. There's just Pendleton fringe. It's a nice cream color and there's a lot of it. Let's see how much it is. I don't know if it's for the whole lot. Maybe she could use what she doesn't on mine on something else. I don't see a price tag. We'll go ask up front. So it's $12 per section. Is two of them? That should be plenty for what I want to do. Thank you so much. So much stuff that wasn't here the other day. This elephant, it's only $14.99. Are you kidding me? We're getting that, baby. Oh, wait. Yeah, $14.99. Fantastic. Look at this tooled leather belt. It's got not one, not two, but three buckles on it. Oh, my gosh. 24? Oh, my gosh. So excited. And you know what? You know what you could do? is because it's not going to fit me but i really want it to fit me and so instead of going on a diet i'm going to cut right here i learned this this morning you just make a little slit right there slit on the other side add in something else and there you go then it'll fit i just found this one for 16 dollars amazing and this teak bowl I'm gonna get this for Jen as a gift. It's only $5.95, and I think she could do something really amazing with this little needlework. Then I also found this old net lace top, and I actually think I could fit into it. It's pretty flowy, and it's so beautiful. Look at this owl, it's $14, and it's like a little wicker owl. It's got little nails in the bottom. I think it's kind of old. I think it's from the 70s. That's pretty cute. I've never seen this guy before. I think that's worth $14. $20. Can you believe it? $20. Laura set this down, so I took I it. did. It was meant for you. That's right. So beautiful. Dish Love the dishcloth. These dish kind are... So good, so. 
And then these are for Jen, some fabrics. Oh, she's gonna oh, do some, so oh, she's gonna beautiful. love those. So I thought she could use the border. Things for Jen, for Jen. Look at you giving gifts, I love it. Jen, look at you, you're gonna have all kinds of stuff. And then. Oh, I love this one. And then I, there was a set of four, but I didn't like the other two, so I kept those. I like those. Those are beautiful. And then this needs to be washed, but. Castle stonework. Get enough bowls. This book I was going to buy oh, anyway. Spark Joy. I've read that one. Is it good? Yeah. Or I listened to it. Some people say that's not reading. <laughs> so. Ooh. Ooh. Good. Stonework. Beautiful. Two ninety nine. Good. Well. Good old G-Dub. Oh, that's pretty. I didn't Ooh. see that. Was that Goodwill? Mm -hmm. $6.99. Beautiful. Ooh. Oh, that's beautiful. The colors. Ooh, what's that say? $2.99. Yeah, it goes that way. Uh, V-H. Wow. I don't know. I, don't know I was going to say Vaughn, but I don't know. Nice Suitcase is going home Warren, to I Fargo, North Dakota. And then this is the last thing, another beautiful. Oh, and the tapestry. And the tapestry. Not bad. That was a pretty good day picking. And we're doing it all over again tomorrow with 30 other amazing women. It's going to be fun. We're going shopping in Aurora. I want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. As many of you know, I have been selling on my own Squarespace website for over nine years now, and I cannot recommend it highly enough. Launching my own vintage shop on my own website was the best decision I ever made for Left Coast Revivals. Squarespace gives you everything to sell anything. You can go from your big ideas to a published site quickly with beautifully designed templates. They make e-commerce easy with everything you need to power your online store. Whether you're selling vintage like me or you're wanting to launch that blog that you have been dreaming of doing for years, or whether you are in the travel industry and you are hosting group trips, Squarespace makes it so easy for you to build out your website and start building your brand. One of my favorite things to do is to add a new page to my website. So I'm always thinking about what else would be a useful tool for my followers. What do they want out of a website from me and how can I stay in touch with them? There are endless beautiful templates to get Get you started and make it so easy and then you can build off of those templates to customize it to fit your brand and to fit your products there is no reason not to give it a shot you can start your free trial today at squarespace.com head to squarespace.com to start your free trial today and when you are ready to launch your own website head to squarespace.com slash left coast to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain thanks again to squarespace for sponsoring today's video today was super fun i'm so glad that you got to come shopping with maya and kelly and i i got some really incredible things today there were a couple things that i ended up finding off camera and I'm pretty sure I didn't even get a clip of this but I also got this beautiful urn lamp the design on it is so beautiful I love the dark moody colors and the pattern on it looks very art nouveau there was a sticker on the bottom that says Nora Fenton designs and so I'm pretty sure that is who made the lamp it says that it was handcrafted by master artisans. Not regular artisans, master artisans. So I haven't looked this up yet, but I'm hoping that this will be a fairly valuable lamp and I will pop up a picture if I find out any information right here. And if I'm pointing to absolutely nothing right now, that means I didn't find anything out. Hopefully I'll have a picture to show you. I have to show you this one sideways. Look at this swan glass vase. Now, You've probably never really seen me pick up mid-century glass like this. It's not something that I get often. I would have to find it at a thrift store for a really good deal for me to pick it up. But the size of this one and the fact that it was green, which is actually a color I love to decorate with, and I got it for only $6, so there was no way I could leave it behind. It's just massive. I was very excited about this find. As you can see up here, these can be very valuable, and I know that they are highly collectible. I'm gonna to pop in a few pictures of some beautiful collections where people have an entire shelf full of beautiful glass. So I'll pop that in so you can kind of see how amazing it looks together with a lot of similar glass. For $6, this might be one of my best finds today. I didn't know when I picked this up who it was by, but I looked it up and it's by Mikasa. I thought that was very interesting. I usually pick up more glass from Mikasa. I got this for only $9.99 and it looks like they retail online for between $40 and $50. So not bad. 
I couldn't believe that I ended up finding a pair of these after I had already gone down that aisle. That is really rare for me. Typically, once I've gone down an aisle, I don't go down it again, but because I was shopping with others, I was kind of just moseying on around and not doing my normal system. And today, that really benefited me because these got put out after I had already gone down the metal aisle. I ended up getting these Chinese cloisonne vases for only $4.99 each. I know this was a really good buy on this leather belt. It's got three straps, and look at all the tooled leather design on the back. It is so pretty. I love this belt so much. It's not gonna fit me right now, but I'm adding it to my stash of project pieces because I'm gonna make this thing fit me because I love it. We're doing lots of sideways shots here in the car today. This actually might be my best find because it's so rare to find these atomic lamps in my area. Mid-century modern is so sought after here. So it's very rare to come across something like this, let alone for only $20. I got such a great deal on this elephant. I have sold the camels in the past for, I don't know, maybe 70, 80, $90. And he's a pretty good size too. I don't know how old he is. He definitely doesn't look brand new, but he doesn't look as old as some of them that I've come across. These are from India. They are all hand stitched and they add so much fun and color and life to a space. I will pop in an inspiration picture from Justina Blakeney with the Jungalo because she has decorated with some of these in the past and she goes all out when it comes to color. I'll also pop in a picture of one that I styled up quite a few years ago. You see me pick up a lot of the smaller versions of this type of box. Oh, the lid just fell off. Okay, we gotta fix the back. It's got a hinge loose in the back. But other than that, it's great. This only ended up being a few dollars because I did a bundle deal at that thrift store and it's got a lion and a gazelle on it. So this is a really great buy for only a few dollars as long as I can fix that hinge. I really love this California pottery planter. It has three small holes in it so that you can hang it. I think this is gonna be so pretty as a hanging planter. And I think I'm even gonna add this to my studio in the front window. I wasn't planning on letting you see the studio until I was completely done with it because I just love the idea of a big reveal. But to be honest, I've just been so busy with so many amazing and exciting projects and trips that I don't have it finished and I decided today I'm not going to make you wait any longer. So you're going to get to see the half finished studio in all of its glory as it is right now. All right you're getting your first look at the not finished corner of the studio space. So uh, these bookshelves here are going to get a major DIY done on them and they're not going to look the same at all. I'm trying to do this on a budget and so custom built shelves were just not going to work. Plus I wanted something that I could remove if I needed to. So I'm really excited to get started on these bookshelves here very soon. I will pop in a picture of what I am going for. Now I have not decided yet on the color. Part of me wants to do something bold like the green inspiration photo and part of me thinks I should do something a little bit softer and more neutral like a pretty soft warm taupe color. This wall is going to remain white over here so I do want something that contrasts with the white. I don't want everything to be white. So there's going to be so many shelfies coming up in styling videos and I'm very excited for this space and eventually I'd like to even host little events here. This could be where we put the food and kind of sit around the table. So this is where it's at right now and let me now show you the complete haul from today's shopping. I think we did pretty fantastic for only going to a handful of stores and only being out shopping for about four hours. I love these glasses. I mean, oh my gosh, the color on them is so pretty. Imagine them on a shelf in a kitchen with like a nice light or dark wood underneath them and the beautiful blue color with some greenery. I think they're so beautiful and I ended up getting a set of eight, four of the large and four of the small. Ah! I think they're so pretty. They're very tempting to keep, but there's just not quite enough of them for me and in my house. This is too colorful for my house, but I love this set. It's an olive oil and balsamic vinegar decanter to have in your kitchen. Let's see, we've got so many good things. I love this. This is probably gonna end up in the office space right here. I'm just not quite sure yet how I'm gonna use it. If any of you have any tips or ideas, please let me know in the comments below. I like this Mikasa bowl too. This would be great for entertainment 
entertaining. I did end up getting this Polish glass candle holder. I was on the fence about it. It was $6.99, which is actually a pretty good price. These do sell for $40 to $60 online here. We're just already doing shelvies, even with the cabinets the way that they are. But you can kind of see how once you separate it, you add in a pretty maybe ribbed candle in there. I think it could be really beautiful in the right setting. I'm just a huge fan of smoked glass, and I liked that it was two-toned. Obviously, this has to be my score of the day. I mean, this was $20. Ah, I'm going to wood oil that up and stage that because that's just too incredible. I can't believe I found that for $20. And Kelly went into that room first, and she actually spotted that. And she goes, do you need another lamp? And before I came around the corner, I said, no, I don't think I need any more lamps. And then I saw it, and I was like, yep, I need another lamp. I need another lamp. These are obviously hand-blown, and I love that they're the frosted glass. I think it's so fun. I think that these might be Murano, possibly, because I did see a very similar glass set where this color down on the bottom was a little bit more of a burnt orange. I'll pop in a picture to see what you think. They're definitely from the 80s and they're hand blown. I think that set could end up being pretty valuable. I just wish we had one more glass. It's always best to have an even amount. When you're thrifting, you gotta just take it as it comes. This is a beautiful piece of California pottery. I think that's gonna end up in my studio. I'm gonna add some chains to it and a spider plant. I think that's gonna look really great. I got this for Jen because I think she can use that and repurpose this into one of her clothing pieces. And then these are the two things that I got for her to make something for me. But I started thinking, what if I give her the belt and see if she can work that in somehow? You know I love Southwestern and fringe and blue and leather. I think that this could be something really cool. So I'm going to maybe get one or two more pieces. I'd like to find something with a lion or a tiger on it. And then I'm going to get these to Jen and see if she can work some magic on them. Fantastic Japanese vase. Oh, I love that one. Two, not one, but two cloisonne vases that match. I love animals, as you know, so I thought this dog was really sweet. And he was only $2.99. I got the beautiful lamp. I love this lamp. I think it's so, so gorgeous. And then I think that these are going to go in the studio also with our glasses that we have that kind of look a little bit Moroccan. Got a stunning pair of earrings with turquoise stones. Thunderbird. This guy was only $12.50. And then I ended up getting this beautiful ring with a stunning turquoise that has the black specks in it for only $40. That was a really good deal. And then this bracelet was $19.50. And I think this one's pretty old. It's got beautiful stamp design in it and then a very green turquoise stone at the center. Teak bowl, cute little beaded pouch, a tea strainer. Look how beautiful this tea strainer is. So much good stuff. So happy with today. Most important, I had fun with my friends. Maya and Kelly and Jen were just a blast to hang out with. So there's my haul, friends. All right, I saw so many comments after I showed you the real life behind the scenes in my breezeway for the flea market. So here we go. I'm showing you the real life behind the scenes in my office right now. So it is not finished. As you can see, I still have paint to do. I have way too much furniture in here because this became a dumping grounds from the Left Coast Flea leftovers, which by the way, can I just say, I am shocked that none of these four pieces of furniture sold. We crushed it. I can't wait to share the video. We did amazing on smalls, but unfortunately not all the furniture sold and I love these pieces. So I'm very surprised. I'm not surprised the couch didn't sell and I'm not gonna lie I am thrilled that it didn't sell because look how perfect it fits right here I'm so excited that it fits and I love having it paired with the lion chairs opposite it with the coffee table in the center Oh my gosh, it's so dirty. I'm so embarrassed But I'm also happy to be honest because I know a lot of people said that it actually made them feel better To know that none of us are always all put together and yeah, so this is where it's at right now. So I've got my lion and big cat gallery wall started over here. I am going to paint this matting a black and I'm going to frame this tiger right here. And I've got quite a few new pieces actually that I need to get up here and get added to the wall. So pretty much my theme in here, as you can tell, is going to be blue and green and lions, big cats everywhere. I think I'm going to keep this table in here. This is not finished, <laughs> obviously. I've got some beautiful Moroccan looking 
green hardware that's going to go on it and it needs another coat or two of paint and I painted these two to match and then I also have a mirror on the other side that's painted the same color to kind of tie it all in this I just have to show you was a gift from someone that came out to the flea market and it is the most beautiful lantern and I ended up selling the red lantern that I had in this space and so it was perfect timing because now I have one that was obviously meant for the space I've kind of started putting some stuff up because even though the wall isn't finished I wanted to get an idea of what I was gonna do with this section here and I think I'm gonna go ahead and do my Moroccan hanging lights and the baskets have a whole wall of baskets this is gonna have some shelving up here with some more dishes and cups plates things like that that we use here when we're eating while we're working and it's really coming together this is gonna go that's probably gonna go these are all gonna go so we'll have some more room here eventually and instead of just plants and lots and lots of furniture. Let's see, we've got a wall that needs to get wallpapered, but I've got to finish the painting first. So as soon as I get the painting finished, then I'll get the wallpaper hung. This is the wallpaper that's gonna go along the whole back wall. And this is the most beautiful 1920s light fixture in the world. It is so pretty when it's lit up because the light sparkles through all of the holes, very similar to the Moroccan swag lamps. I do need another lamp for over there and maybe a hanging lamp for in that corner. And my goal is to actually not have the fluorescent lights on when I'm working. They kind of give me headaches and it's just not a good light. So I really want to have it just this beautiful glow in here while we're working. And I've got this beautiful clock hung. I got this in Italy. I can't wait to share that video with you. It's just that I took so much footage that it's taking me a long time to get through. So you'll see me find that in Italy here soon. And then I have something that I'm very proud to have on my wall. This is my YouTube 100,000 subscribers plaque that I got last year because of you. I never would have hit that milestone if it wasn't for you. I'm not someone who normally would hang something on the wall for achievements at all. These are my achievements, <laughs> my beautiful thrifted treasures, but I'm proud to have that because it means a lot. It was a lot of hard work and I'm just so grateful for all of you. So here's your sneak peek. I didn't want to ruin the surprise of the makeover, but to be honest, things have just been going so amazing lately and I've been so busy that I just know it's going to be a little bit longer before I get this all the way finished. Now you have a sneak peek and you can kind of see the direction I'm going. And I think it'll still be a surprise because it's going to look quite different once I have all the space filled. And I'm painting the door too. Don't worry about that. That won't be an eyesore there. That'll be dark blue also. Can you see it? Can you kind of see where I'm going? <laughs> The reality is life is never finished and it's all about the journey. I really believe it as cheesy as it is. And I'm enjoying this process of creating this space for me that makes me feel really good when I walk into it, even if it's not completely finished. It's really turning out the way that I had wanted and hoped. And I know it's not for everybody. I'm kind of going wild in this space. I'm designing my studio specifically for me. And this is what I encourage all of you to do with your homes, your rooms, and your space, because it's not a about what everybody else thinks is beautiful. It's not about what everybody else has in their home or on their Instagram feed. It's about creating a home and a special place for you and your family that represents you. Thank you so much for hanging out with Kelly and Maya and I today. And I'm so happy that you were able to join us. The next video that's gonna be coming out is gonna be the Left Coast Flea Market video. So keep an eye out for that video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss when that comes out. And I will see you in the next adventure. <laughs>